Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, Gold, released in the year 2022. The movie opens up with a train passing through a deserted area. Inside the train, a rough-looking man named Virgil is sitting, eating some pieces of his bread. In front of him, a strange woman is staring at him, trying to calm her baby down. After some time, the train stops and Virgil comes out, but not before handing his bread to the woman inside. He then walks to a nearby shop and asks the owner if he has seen someone around. However, the owner keeps on watching the TV without giving any response. Later, Virgil asks about the bathroom and the owner directs him in a different language. After walking for some time, he finds the bathroom dirty and filled with flies. Despite this, Virgil is compelled to use it to ease his stomach pressure. While in the bathroom, a manly voice asks him if he's waiting for someone to go to the compound. Listening to this, Virgil says yes and the man walks away. Later, while Virgil washes his face, a man approaches and warns him not to waste any water. In the following scene, Virgil is shown along a truck driver, Keith, who's driving him to the compound. On the way, Keith explains to Virgil about his fee for taking him to the compound. Virgil is a little surprised to see an addition in the fee, as he thought it to be only $200. Feeling the extreme heat, Virgil tries to turn on the AC in the truck, but when he does so, Keith scolds him, telling him that it will put pressure on the engine and damage it. After they travel a fair way, the truck's tire gets busted and they're compelled to pull over and change the tire. As they're at it, they spot two wild dogs fighting with each other. Seeing this, Keith chases the healthy dog and gives the injured one a painless death. Soon, they fix the tire and hit the road again. Later, they stop to refill gas, but since it is already night, they decide to rest for the day and continue their journey tomorrow. While spending their time together at night, Keith asks Virgil about his motive to go to the compound. Virgil replies that he's searching for a lifetime opportunity and is sure that he can find it there. As Keith regularly visits the compound, he tries to make Virgil understand that the compound is definitely not a better place for opportunities. He also adds that the only thing he can find there is hard labor. However, Virgil replies that he's not afraid of hard labor. The next morning, Virgil is shown driving the truck while Keith is resting in the passenger seat. After some time driving, Virgil starts feeling hot because of the scorching sun outside and decides to turn on the AC to its full potential. This leads to the truck's engine running down. When Keith finds out about it, he shouts at Virgil and asks him to pull over. After stopping, Virgil apologizes and goes to ease himself. On his way back to the truck, he notices some clusters of rocks. Feeling curious, he approaches near and removes dirt from one of the rocks. The rock seems to be of gold and Virgil is surprised to find it. He calls out for Keith and asks him to take a look at the rocks. Keith arrives there and takes out his lighter, telling that if it burns and turns black, it ain't gold. But when he fires on a part of the stone, it does not change its color and Keith concludes that it's gold. The scene then shifts to the duo using some shovels to dig the gold out of the ground. However, the rock is so huge and firmly situated that despite trying with their full might, they are not able to move it an inch. After this, they decide to pull the gold by the help of a rope attached to the truck. However, the rock still doesn't budge and the rope detaches. Later in the evening, Keith heads to search for some firewood for the night. He explains to Virgil that wild dogs are very active in the area and can only be chased away with fire. Listening to this, Virgil also joins him and together they bring back a pile of firewood. They light the fire and sit around discussing the fortune they've just found. Keith gets really excited thinking about how their lives are going to change soon. He screams and jumps in excitement. After some time, Keith mentions that since they're unable to take out the gold, one of them will have to visit town and get an excavator to dig it out. He further mentions that he has some contacts who can lend them an excavator and suggests Virgil should be the one going to the town. This is because Virgil is unfamiliar with the deserted environment and has no idea how to adjust there for long. However, Virgil thinks otherwise. He suggests Keith go and bring an excavator while he waits and protects the gold. He also says that he has no idea in the new town and does not have enough contacts. After hearing this, Keith asks him one final time if it's his final decision to which Virgil replies that he is a tough guy and can easily handle the situation. 
The next morning, Keith is shown leaving the place after providing canned foods, some water, and a small tent cloth to Virgil. Before leaving, he also provides Virgil with a satellite phone for communication and a pocket knife for his protection. Keith then mentions that it might take him about five days to return back with an excavator. He then leaves after telling Virgil to keep his head up and look after himself. Later, Virgil picks up the tent cloth and ties it around a nearby tree, preparing a shelter-like place for him. He also takes out the satellite phone and checks if it's working. After that, he goes to scavenge firewood around the area. When he returns after collecting some firewood for the night, he finds a scorpion roaming around his place of shelter. He uses a piece of wood and chases the scorpion away from his place. Soon, night falls and Virgil is shown sitting beside the fire, heating his canned food. He enjoys his meal, but gets worried after hearing the wild dogs quarreling nearby. As a result, he holds his pocket knife in his hands. The following morning, Virgil wakes up pale and tired. He immediately goes to empty his stomach, but hesitates to waste any water to clean himself up. Meanwhile, the satellite phone rings, and before Virgil could drag himself there, it cuts short. Frustrated, Virgil walks around the area and finds the remains of a crashed plane. He decides to use it as a shelter, but as the gold site is not visible from there, he abandons his idea. However, he takes some parts from the plane and uses them as a shelter. Shortly after, a tired Virgil dozes off. When he wakes up, he finds a part of his face burnt due to the sunlight. He then sits beside the gold and starts talking with himself. While doing so, he gets an idea about trying to break a chunk of the gold. After repeatedly striking it with a rock, he succeeds and breaks a small but heavy chunk of gold. At the same time, Keith calls him on the satellite phone and he hurriedly picks it up. Keith tells him that it's going to take more time than he thought because his truck's engine is overheating frequently. Virgil informs him that he successfully broke a small chunk of gold, but Keith suggests he sit right beside the gold and he will try his best to reach there soon. At night, Virgil can be seen sitting right beside the gold while some wild dogs come near him. He uses the firewood to chase the dogs away and save himself. The next morning, Virgil pours some water into a bottle and drinks it. At the same time, he notices a striped snake approaching near him. He tries to kill the snake, but it escapes. When he turns back, he finds that he accidentally knocked over the bottle and spilled most of the water. Later, he again visits the plane crash site and tries to collect some more wreckage for his shelter. Right then, he notices someone walking towards him. He enters the plane and tries to hide himself. After some time, the stranger arrives beside the plane and asks him to get out of his hiding place. The stranger turns out to be a woman who offers him some food and drinks, but Virgil refuses to accept anything from her. She also asks Virgil about his motives and how he ended up in the desert but Virgil remains quiet and ignores her questions. Later, he offers the woman to take shelter in the plane and starts to leave. However, the woman thinks that he's hiding something from her. Afterwards, the woman can be seen chasing Virgil and asking him questions about how he got there in the first place. Irritated with the questions, Virgil confronts the woman and tells her not to interfere in his matters and leave. At the same time, the woman notices Virgil's shelter and starts walking towards it. When she tries to destroy his shelter and asks him to leave, Virgil gets angry and hits her with the shovel, killing her on the spot. He then takes all of the useful items from her backpack and buries her near his shelter. Shortly after, the wild dogs dig up the dead body and start pulling it. Virgil notices it and chases the dogs away. He then drags the woman's body somewhat far and burns it using some firewood. While he's doing so, he has his eyes full of tears. The next morning, Virgil wakes up to the sound of the satellite phone and picks it up. Keith, on the other side, informs him that he has succeeded in finding the excavator, but will need some more time to get there as the load of the excavator is slowing his speed. Before hanging up, Keith encourages Virgil to stay strong. Later, Virgil notices a truck passing by, but his greed for more gold doesn't let him escape from there. While he's searching for firewood for the night, he notices a sandstorm approaching. He runs towards the shelter and tries to stay safe, but in no time, the storm rips out parts of his shelter, causing Virgil to run away for his life. On his way, he's hit badly by a tree branch. After some time, the storm stops and Virgil wakes up from a heap of sand, with a piece of branch stuck into his stomach. 
Instead of pulling out the branch, he rushes towards the gold site to inspect it. After removing some sand, he finds the big rock of gold and faints beside it. In the next scene, Virgil pulls out the branch from his stomach and bleeds profusely in the process. He then makes a fire and heats a can in it. He cries as he disinfects the wound with the hot can. Following this, he paints his face with sand and collapses to the ground. When he wakes up, he sees a woman pointing a crossbow at him. Seeing this, Virgil starts getting visions of the previous woman he had eliminated. The woman provides him with some water to drink and leaves. When Virgil opens his eyes, he doesn't find the woman anywhere around and concludes that he's hallucinating. Meanwhile, the satellite phone rings and he digs it out of the sand. Virgil tells Keith about the woman and Keith suggests he get rid of her soon. After the call ends, the woman again appears in front of Virgil and offers him some help. However, a greedy Virgil, who's more conscious about the gold, yells at her to go away. Before leaving, the woman inquires if he has seen her sister, but Virgil does not answer. Later, when Virgil opens his eyes, he finds himself encircled by burnt-out fires and wild dogs. He immediately contacts Keith, asking where he is, and Keith replies that he's near and will reach there soon. Virgil cries over the phone, begging him to come fast as the wild dogs are trying to attack him. Here, it is revealed that Keith is actually sitting at a distance from Virgil, keeping an eye on him with the help of binoculars. He waits and watches until the dogs attack Virgil and drag him away. After some time, Virgil can be seen being consumed by the dogs while he's still looking at the gold. Shortly afterwards, Keith arrives there with his truck attached to an excavator. He looks down to Virgil's body and returns to his truck, trying to pick something up. As he turns back, he's shot in the chest by an arrow. The movie ends as Keith falls down, trying to figure out who shot him, but finds no one. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.